Hi YouTube, this is my version of tools that suck, or at least these are uh, not on the recommended buy list. And it might take a lot of heat over this, but I am going to start with these Craftsman raised panel ratchets or paintbrush hand, whatever you want to call them. It just, I, I am not a fan of these ratchets at all. And especially now since they're made in China, mine are, you can see that, are USA versions. And just, I don't think, this, it's almost embarrassing that these things have USA stamped in them. And they don't today. I bought these, these come from a time when uh, I got out of the military. And uh, I didn't have a lot of disposable income then. And when I first got out of the military, I ate bologna and macaroni and cheese for longer than I want to admit. But that was the times back then, and I did what I had to do to survive. And that's, you know, that was the, the era then. Crafts, craftsmen probably would have been the number one recommended uh, value brand tools back then. But today, there's much better options available, and I would I would never recommend someone go to Sears now to start buying tools. I mean, I've been predicting Sears is going to go out of business for the past seven years, and it hasn't happened yet. But I do predict it'll. Ha and I I know all about Stanley buying the Craftsman name. Yeah, we're going to start making stuff in the USA again, but. If this is the kind of stuff they're going to produce, I'm not interested. It doesn't have anything to do. These are 36 tooth models, both of them. And this was, you know, this is after I got established a little bit. I thought I was doing really good with this. You know, this was the professional version. And, you know, highly polished finish. And, or you can... See USA once again, but the internals of both of these are identical. You can swap these internals between these two ratchets, there's absolutely zero difference. And it just these are not smooth acting ratchets. I mean, I don't know how well that picks up, but just not a smooth sounding ratchet at all. And I think there's just much better options of it. And I'll start with this. This is the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Pro model. And right now, as of today, this Harbor Freight Professional Ratchet actually retails for a dollar less than this current model from a Craftsman. I'm sure it goes on sale often. This is the one that comes in like all the uh, mechanics tool sets they sell and stuff. But today in 2017 I would wholeheartedly recommend Harbor Freight above Craftsman Tools. This is ten times the ratchet of this one. Now that's, you know, that's my opinion. And, I don't know, I'm trying, I don't know if they consider this a feature, like a wobble, but, to me that's just embarrassing, the amount of slop in these things. And you can tell, I mean, look at that anvil, this is not an abused tool. You know, you don't see any hammer marks here. I'm, of course, I've done it in the past too. You know, you just, you got a ratchet in your hand, you're going to use it as a hammer. I've done it. But not with this particular model. Or this, this one. And just 
so I'm not totally biased. I also, I, this is one's from the same era, this little flex head. And it's, it has the same internals as the other two. This one sounds a little smoother. But I still, I, this ratchet I do use for spark plugs. It's just, I don't know, I don't know why I haven't replaced it, but this thing still sees a, a lot of use, but just for spark plugs. That's the only thing I use this for. So I do like this one. Of course, these aren't mine is made in USA. They are not today. But this is my favorite spark plug ratchet. So that's the first item. Next on the list, the adjustable wrench or crescent wrench, whatever you want to refer to these to as. And yes, this is a craftsman, but pay no attention to the brand. I don't care what brand they are. It's just these are to me, you know, just you do more damage with one of these than uh, I find they're helpful. You see, mine is, these used to be made in the USA. But again, I don't care what brand they are. It's just, these things cause a ton of damage. You know, I, I, there's a bunch of other YouTube people removing their lawnmower blades with these and their oil drain plugs and it just... It makes me cringe every time I see someone using one of these. AVE refers to these as Swedish nut lays. And boy, I agree with him there. These people have caused so much damage with these over the years. I don't even know why I own them. I don't remember buying these. And uh, at least back, you know, Sears used to have what they call uh, Sears hardware stores. And they pretty much sold the entire line of uh, Craftsman tools in there and these came in a set of three and I have no clue why I bought them you can see you know they're not widely used and I know like plumbers and stuff you know they like to use these but why can't you just use the correct size wrench it's just I am not a fan of adjustable or crescent wrenches and one of the worst inventions ever. At least, you know, that's my feeling. You might disagree. Again, does I don't care what brand they are, where they're made. It just, I am not a fan of adjustable wrenches. That's item number two. Next, we have the Performance Tools Metric Hex T-Handles. This brand, to, if you do any kind of research on the internet here, the, the, these people, they're actually not a manufacturer. They just plaster their name on other people's junk products. But I just, I had to do these specifically where, uh, let me pull a 5.5 out. You can see that's, you know, it's not a used size for me. But they take this, they take the metal bar part, and it's just pressed into plastic up here in the actual T-handle. And if you apply any amount of pressure on these, the plastic, it'll just twist around the metal hex portion. These are completely junk tools. And I've said in other videos, I should have tossed them in the trash a long time ago, but for whatever reason, I haven't. And the other part of performance tools, they, they say lifetime warranty, and I called them up. I, I don't remember which size it was that uh, I spun one out. And they're like, yeah, you need the original sales receipt. Well, who keeps the original sales receipt? Of their tool purchases I know I don't and uh, so they want warranty it 
without the original sales receipt. And about, Summit Racing sells a ton of performance tools products and just I never recommend them. This is a crap company in my opinion and if you're smart don't buy anything with a performance tool logo on it or at least and expect a warranty down the road. There was a thread on the Garage Journal of a guy bought a Oh, I think it was an O2 sensor socket, and as soon as he put it on the O2 sensor, you know, it, it cracked in two. And he, he went through this same issue, contacting them. Yeah, you need the original sales receipt. So, uh, highly recommend you, you stay away from this brand of tools and anything they offer. They're, they're freaking garbage, and do not buy. You can see these are all just covered in crap from sitting around over the years. But I can't bring myself to toss them in the trash. But if you see this logo on anything, my advice is steer clear. Performance tools are junk. Next for junk tools are these metal socket clips that, uh, you know, several different brands when you buy a socket set they come on these and to me these things are complete garbage I absolutely hate them SK sockets sets uh, they come on these and uh, top tool sockets as well now I love both those brands of tools but I just I hate these clips these are the most useless things they'll cut you they some of them you know that they have sharp edges along here they will not stand up in your toolbox if you try and put sockets on these and stand them up in your toolbox they'll just they'll roll right over you know they're not I don't know if you can see the bend along these but I absolutely hate these things you know they have holes in the end you could screw them down to wood or something but then you're going to lose some of the height in your drawer and the sockets are hard to put on and take off of these and just I absolutely hate these things and I finally replaced them all in my uh, my own toolbox there's no longer I no longer have any sockets sitting on these in mine yeah, yeah you can lay them down like that I don't know if you can see the twist in this one or not There's so many better options available now than these. Now anything I buy with that uh, comes with these, these go straight in the frickin' garbage pail. I absolutely hate them. And any drive size, I don't care, you know, some of them are stamped, you know, USA or what. I don't care where they're made. I absolutely hate these things. They are garbage. So that's it for uh, my, that's what I could find quickly this morning that I absolutely hate or, you know, just not recommended buys. And I'm interested in other people's opinion on tools that they think suck. So, uh, good to, you know, leave a comment of tools you think suck in the bottom and, or just, or non-recommended buys. I'm interested in other people's opinions on this. So that's it for today, and again, thanks for watching.